ain't nowhere in the world she can go in the ground. I wonder if you decided to stop following Christ tomorrow. Who will fight for your life? Who will say it's impossible? They cannot go in the ground, Jesus. Ain't no way we having this here. She was that lifeline. Yeah. The Bible says two men went and got Peter. Even the men were willing to help. She was doing such an awesome job with those women. It was her legacy that she left. She was clear sighted and she had a focus. She didn't go after the rich women. She didn't go after the married women. She focused widows. Yeah. And what am I going to teach these widows? I ain't made hands. I ain't putting them out. I'm not putting no certificates in their hand. I'm not teaching them tent making. I'm going to teach them how to make clothes to the widows. Her name was just it. Clear sighted. She had a clear vision about what she was anointed to do for those women. So where is your legacy? With all the deposit that we have, where is your legacy? The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is a teacher. Something ought to go off in your life when you ain't teaching nobody nothing. <laughs> you ought not be able to sleep at... Lord, in the name of Jesus, Rob, they sleep. You ought not be able to sleep at night if you're not teaching somebody something. You ain't got to be saved 40 years. You just got to be saved and accepted them. Once the Holy Spirit come in, that's it. He's a teacher. He's a unifier. Matter of fact, the Bible says he separates people with sins and all for service. Am I in the book? He says, separate me now, Paul and Barnabas, for the work that I have. Come on, somebody. He got people going on a mission. I'm not talking about you, intellect. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit in you. What is the problem? What is the problem? He can't get you to move on something that ought to be your dominant nature. The Holy Spirit empowers to be a witness. So where is your victory? That's right. You house in power, where is the victory? Where are the regions being taken for him? Where is our own infrastructure? Why, why is that possible? Why is that that somebody crazy can go out in the middle of nowhere, build a car, they make their own food, get their own water, yeah. make their own money, yeah. survive on their own, build a big fence around it, lock it up, can't nobody come in or out and they function? How is that? And the body of Christ cannot build their own infrastructure for nothing. With all power locked up on it, their body is all being out. Broke as all get out. Because we ain't got no infrastructure. No. The cop got sense enough to work together. They sure do. Yes, oh, they no. do. Man. Yes, they do. The cop got sense enough to know that they have to have a way to make food and make money. Keep the cop right. gone. That's it. <laughs> Not the body of Christ. We lean in independent. Mm -hmm. It's going to fall out the sky. Mm -hmm. We just believe in God. And line in people's pockets that they're going to never put it back in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, but Peter sent them out, knelt down and prayed, and turned to the body and said, Tabitha. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she stood up. And he gave her his hand and raised her up and called the saints in the windows and presented her alive. And then it says, it became known all over Joppa. Widespread, and many believed on the Lord. Now, I just did a teaching about that, about the Lord. You got to understand, it's not just many people believed in Jesus, or many people believed on the Holy Spirit, or many people believed on salvation. There's a reason why he said Lord. Because he, want, he wanted the people to declare that Jesus Christ is the sovereign ruler. There are a lot of rulers, there are a lot of kings, there are a lot of people to worship. Amen? Amen. There are a lot of ways that people, now you can be half Muslim and half Christian. Oh. Mm. Buddhism is on the rise. We're worshiping that man with the big belly and all of that. Mm. And so he set up this scenario because back then they had all these sun gods and moon gods and all these different people. But see, he wanted them to know that he is Lord. He is the sovereign ruler. And I do mean the sovereign ruler. Yeah, it's a whole lot of people out there ruling. It's a whole lot of powers. But I'm the sovereign ruler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he was after. Yeah, man. 
And through that situation, 